Uh, I gotta pull these out now. Hold on. As much as I don't want to take them out. Welcome to IMs in my new house. See, I haven't done an IM since I moved here because IMs are a fucking flavor of my existence. Like, I have to want to IM at any particular moment in time. And I just, I've got piles of them now. So today, running out of reviews on Patreon and Subscribestar and not publishing one and then deciding not to stream because I need to fuck a work. Hold on, it's getting warm down here. My basement is a little bit chilly. The 61-ish Fahrenheit. Oh God, all my friends are just, just to, 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 today is the day they're doing the thing with the, with the man in the big office. So I'm just gonna mute them so they could just. Volans by Astrotech, not Astroglide. Everyone, like, you can't, like you can't put Astro in your thing unless you're a video game from the 70s or 80s or a lube company, but Astrotech sent me these. Uh, I'm gonna link to them on Hi-Fi Go because really there's no other place to buy them. There is one seller on Amazon, I'll probably link to them too. So it's nice when I get something from a straight company, like when Exto sends me something, because then I can just link to any retailer that I think is gonna do you right. Uh, I'll link to Astrotech as well. But these were these are like a, a wild card, because I who the fuck is Astrotech? And what the hell are the Volans? And what is this box? It's like blue driftwood? Like what are they what is the look they're going for? It's like a painted blue wood, but it's low res. I don't I don't know. And it says vocal here. It's got a that's actually a sticker. That's actually a sticker you can peel off. It says vocal. And if we walk around the packaging, it says product features. High performance Tesla magnetic brass driver unit with multi layer biological diaphragm and extra wide sound transducer. Because it is a 10.5 millimeter, which is bigger than 10, which makes it bigger than most of the ones I've listened to. And I'm going to start off with saying at first, I did not like these IMs. I thought, all right, I'm going to pick a random IM. We're going to go for it. It'll be good. It'll be bad. Let's find out. And it was, oh, fucking God. When a company puts a vocal on something, that seems to tend to mean turn the treble all the way up. Just keep turning it. By the way, I've ditched the regular light in favor of just the big light because it makes the wallpaper pop. All for the waifus. He did it all for the waifus. I'm currently bathed in this white light, and it's very strange. So it was completely anti-Volans for the first 10 minutes, but... I was using, I decided that today would be the day also that I start going through a couple different tip options that I've purchased. And since I don't like the way the Volans sound, let's see what tips do. So I started with the Volans foam. They came with some foam tips. And they're, the problem with foam tips from companies is who the fuck are they? What are you? What even are you? And they managed to collect every bit of dirt that was in my ear. All the d d juicy ear goo is all over this lovely thing. And I just cleaned my ears. So thanks, Volan, for providing that. The other problem I personally have is my right ear requires a slightly larger tip than my left ear. Do not panic. The Millennium Falcon has flown from the far right, I think. So all you people who are obsessed that everything has to be perfectly linear, just look at the Millennium Falcon. You're going to fucking cry from now on. Everyone's like, as a kid, I was like, oh, the Millennium Falcon. It's obviously flown from the middle. But wait, there's that, like, gap thing. Oh, wait, are they flying it? All the way from the side? Ah! It hurts my brain, but my right side ear is a little bit bigger than my left. And when you only give one size of foam, it doesn't fit right. So I can't really judge on that. I then moved um, to these, which are sold on Amazon, and I will link them, as the Tin T2 foam replacements. Remember the Tin T2s had those blue foam? Well, guess what? This isn't them. And I asked, um, I think Lin Sol to send me the set, but they never got back to me. And then I purchased them just like, I think it was $15 on Amazon. I got three pair for $15. Only come in one size. There's no size choices. I don't believe. And the thing is, they're much smaller than the Tin T2s were. Like the Tin T2s came with basically two extra large foam ones. This way I could shove it in my ear that fits great. And it got a little bit tighter, but it was such a soft, gooey foam. Great. Oh, uh, great. It just fucked the great. The Tin T2s probably still to this day have the best um, foam tips that have ever come with an IM. But these, these are mediums. Two mediums. And they're not even the same like consistency. They're the same color. I feel like everyone wanted the Tin T2 tips and then 
I don't know, maybe they were just using them. Like, I don't know how China can even keep track of who uses what and when. How many blue IM tips could there be? Can't you just remake the ones that I actually want? Anyway, those were about the same as the ones from here because they just didn't fit right. So I said, okay, let's do something I usually never do. Let's go to the silicone tips that come with the Volans. And when they fit right, it was like, oh, this is very, this is much better. I actually have a seal going on. Still sharp, but not, you know, when you have a gap and you don't have it fitting right, the, I think a lot of people who try IMs and just don't like them, you haven't gone on the journey. Unlike headphones that have like a headphone pad that most people could be okay with, an IM's tip is very, it's just the tip, is very important. By the way, her horns are sharp because he's a sharp, this is the one I went with. So I use the silicones. I'm like, all right, this is better. They're sounding less terrible than it was with the two foams that I tried already. But now I had to go all the way upstairs and get my Taconi nugget box, which is filled with, um, are these the Mercury's or the Gemini's? The Mercury tips? These are my Taconi tips. And these, I have boxes of them because I said, Taconi, I love your tips. Give me all of them. And they did. Um, and so I could pick and choose a large for the right and a, and a medium for the left and put them on. I went, oh, okay. Completely softened up those murderous highs. Comfort was better. Everything was better, 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 better. I might actually like the Volans. And then just now, because I had one more set of IM tips to try, and these are called, and excuse me, I have to look at them because I don't remember. I bought these. I don't usually buy tips. Obviously, I've got like, I'm not sponsored by Dakoni, but if I ask them for shit, they give it to me for free. So is that sponsorship? So I went out and spent $28. 28. That's 30 fucking dollars if you include my heartbreak for six tips, of all of which are different sizes. And these are Alza Senda Earfit X Elastic 3. And apparently these were a buzz amongst my patrons of the patronage chat, the $10 a month, whether you're in Patreon or Subscribestar. All that's with everyone talks shit about everything. And I was like, all right, I'll bite. I'll bite. I'll, I'll spend $28 and we'll try these um, Sedna Earfit Elastics 3s. So I bought them, and there's three sizes to choose from, but not like small, medium, large. No, this is interesting as shit because it's small, 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 medium, small, or medium, small, medium, medium, large, or the set I got, which is medium, medium, large, large. I swear to God, you, I had to get a marker out and mark these because they're so close in size, like... There are literally nine sizes of these tips. If you got all three sets for $28 a piece, you would have nine hyper incrementally sized. This is the smallest one. This one's a little bit bigger. I'm talking about like a millimeter. So that's what's on there now. And what makes these, what calls these to arms is they are weird. They feel weird. Like they feel like some sort of biological thing, like a film you'd get if you let tomato, like chicken soup, harden and then somehow made that like a tacky like these are the best feeling silicone tips i've ever used let's put it that way and uh i threw them on here and it doesn't soften as much as the Dakoni, so i'd probably still recommend those but wow um they should include these on things if you are a company that's looking for tips they're like so sticky it's like the stickiest silicone like usual silicone is like slippery and slidey no Sticky. Sticky as hell. I'll put them back in for a second. Oh, I try to look at one at least. The two choices on uh, not Hi-Fi Guides. Hi-Fi Guides forum, by the way. On Hi-Fi Go are blue and green. So the blue looks blue and the green looks green. And I should probably get to the price of them because I, I it was one of those days where I don't know the price. Yeah, I, I agreed to do the Volans. Yeah, send it to me. They sat in a pile for three weeks probably more like five weeks and I'm like, all right, let's pull them out and we'll use them for a couple days and then we'll look it all up. So to my chagrin, these are $330, which is not like a hundred dollars at a hundred dollars. You could have like a really useful taste. Like you could vary a little bit and I'm okay with it, but at $330, this is probably going to be someone's only I am. And I have to look at it from that perspective. 
What do you deliver? First, actually, no, I'm wrong. Let me correct myself. There are two people who will buy these. People who will have these as their only IEM, and can you perform well enough for everybody's entire needs? Or psychopath crazy IEM people who have a box like I do of IEMs, and they pull out one specifically for whatever trait it has better than everything else. Like I want base, I go OH7. Or if I want, you know, crystalline highs, I would take out like the Starfields or the Nanas. So there's like, I can pick and choose because I'm, well, luckily I get most of those things for free and I wouldn't want to pay for all of them. But if you're paying for them, I have to put myself in the headspace of people who are going to throw money. And with the right tips and you soften it up a little bit, I do think these could be someone's like everyday, all the time use I am. But they still lean quite like that Porsche gauge cluster. They lean towards the treble and vocals. That's the sticker. The sticker is not a joke. This vocal sticker. That vocal sticker is there to tell you, hey, you're going to hear some shit work right around this frequency range. The actual IEM itself uh, has a very tight MMCX connector on the wire. The wire is I'm using, by the way, in case you're wondering, the BTR5. Because this is like my consistent IEM test rig. If it doesn't sound good on this, it doesn't sound good. Although if it doesn't, if it sounds great on this, it may not sound great on everything else because this is the best IEM thing linked in the description. The, the wire is, you know, I don't know what to expect anymore because there's a lot of cheap IEMs that produce fucking great wires. And then there's like $300 IEMs. It's like, okay, so it's a non-balanced right angle into like, it's it's not quite white. It's like a greenish. I think it's matching. It's trying to match the IEM itself. So it's not like oxidation. They just want like a slight tint of green, which I'm not sure if the camera and the light can pick that up. I don't hate the wire. It's nothing special. I really, I have a thing for balanced. So the fact that it doesn't come for $300 of the balanced cable or an option for balance is like, whatever. Aluminum heads with uh, red and blue indicators, MMCX. The actual IEM itself is... Uh, almost not marked at all, except for AstroTech on the back. Um, wait, actually, what does it say? It says brass driver, because the actual end does is this is brass that the uh, tip goes on. Which now I got to get this sticky s thing back on it. So okay, let's put you back together. I'm gonna put you back. Uh, I have to eat. I don't want to eat it across the fucking basement. And we will be moving desks to that side, and I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the big eight-foot glass desk or keep this four-foot desk. Today's my first review of the day, so we're, we're still working on it. All right, we got some Cowboy Bebop. We got some harmonicas. We got some bass drums. Light bass. I'll, I'll give it this. They, they have really focused the lean towards, okay, bass light, treble, Oof. They definitely have the treble oof down. Like, that's just what they do. At a high volumes, it's way worse, by the way. It's just like, oh, oh, oh. Okay. But at normal listening volumes, with good sealed tips, and I really like these tips. Though, whatever the fuck they're called. Um, not very wide soundstage either. Like, I'm getting a little bit of a narrowness. They really went all in on this vocal tab because usually vocals, you don't want to have them like lost. So you focus it. So we got bass light, narrow, focus treble, very tip dependent. Oh, God. Probably got a copyright goddamn claim for that. So this was, I'm going to have to keep these in this case so that I don't mix up small, medium, and large because I'm pretty sure my, um, you know, my marks are already failing, the ones I put on it. Let's go back to the Dakoni tips, which foam is my bay. Oh, it's already softer. We've got the Gardens of the Galaxy soundtrack happening right now. Hold on. Anything with David Hasselhoff in it, basically the best thing ever. So now that these are calmed slightly, 
I can crank up the volume a bit more. And they have, so once the like, ah, of treble is gone, which the, the Coney tips do, and if I can give you any advice, is have a couple tips ready to play with. Spin fits, spin rights, sit rights, up downs, these things, the Coney's for shit sure. Keep all the stock pads from things too, because you might have to end up mixing and matching. But you really get a good sense of the imaging that's going on with this, because it's a single 10 and a half millimeter driver. So it's not doing that weird thing that uh, sometimes you get with like a 4BA where it doesn't blend properly. So everything's pretty fucking coherent with these. And even though there's not a lot of soundstage, we're getting, well, I'm getting very, very much this. So it's not going like, oh my God, sound is everywhere. Sound is here, but it's doing its thing along this way. And I'm wondering... For gaming, I don't know. Should I bring up gaming with IEMs? Because could you please, if you've gotten this far in the review and you got through my babbling because the wallpapers are basic, who games with IEMs and where do you do it? Are you like on an Xbox controller? Because I know those have like a headphone jack plugged into it. Like I, I thought IEMs would be the thing for VR, but the VR headset that I have, the Index, has a remarkable sound fucking thing going on. It's like I want it on the desk for music. It's so good. So are you gaming with IMs? Are you doing like a portable, like a Nintendo DS probably doesn't have the greatest need for sound accuracy. So if you do, do you? And if you don't, do you? And why is Harmonic Dine written upside down in the case? Let's uh, say so when you lay it down, you see it, then you lift it up. Okay. I might have to flip that upside down. We're moving there anyway. It's moving to the other side of the basement anyway. I'm going to get a couple of reviews done today regardless. So I think with this... Girls Last Tour. What a what a show. It's trying to break through the foam and be sharp and sibilant again, but it's not succeeding. And so what it's happening is I'm getting like just pounded with detail. This is a th this song is literally the sound of like dripping water and banging on pipes. And I am, I'm pretty startled by it. So what I'm going to say to you is this, because this is my first IM review. I'm getting back into the flow of things and I don't like love these. That's why I don't do like a tier list. Cause then it'll be like, oh, Zeos put those in like a C tier. Obviously you should not buy them. I'm not here to tell you a hundred percent if I recommend something for myself. I have to figure out who I'm recommending it for. And People who like metal music always say, hey, what headphone will work with metal? And I've listened to several genres of metal, metal, but very quietly, because I have a job that requires my ears. And there is good metal. But there's also that question of, well, do you want really pronounced highs? Because on a perfectly neutral scale, metal is just like trouble. Banging, ah! So wouldn't you want something that's a little bit darker to protect you from that? Or do you like that and you want to get closer? Because a, a perfectly neutral HC 600s or something, you know, you would want to like calmly fucking just live with it. Because these sound like every song is trying to be a little bit metal. Maybe that's what you want. Because it's just a little bass light. It, it, it warms up. It has a nice warm tonality to the bottom end when you put the foams on it. But it certainly isn't like a bass IM in any fucking regards. In fact, the bass might even be what I would consider neutral. Like, it's there, it's there, like, bump, bump, okay, yeah, it's happening. These are a headphone or an IM designed for the people who want that ramp up of treble. And I know you exist, so I'm not going to be like, no one should buy these because they, they don't suit mine. I wouldn't wear them for more than the purposes of testing and reviewing. But there's someone watching, raise your hand, raise your hand right now. If you're like, oh man, did he say a treble is fucking sweet? Because there's people who just want treble, just want treble in detail. And if $330 is your price range, why not the Volans? They come in blue and green. I actually do like the green. It's like a, a light mint green with the brass accents. They're actually, they're quite nice looking. Uh, oh, I should probably talk about, I talked about the wire. I didn't talk about the case. The case is, um, it's one of these cases. Actually, does it still have the protective covering on it? It still has the protective covering on it. Leaving it like that. It says AstroTech uh, inscribed in the back of it. 
Don't usually see these things customized, so that's nice. It's the one with the, uh, it's got the insert. Well, it's got foam inserts, obviously, to hold the IMs. But then it's got the rubberized insert. So, I mean, I guess if you're going white river rafting and you're taking your IMs, you have a waterproof sealed container to keep your IMs. I mean, look, I'm assuming that $330, uh, 30 of it went into all the accessories that come with it. I wish they came with more sizes of foam tips because really the foam tips would probably would have been great if my had similar size ears. You might be fine with it. You might get this and try either the silicones or the foams and be, oh, this is fine. Just, just know, I'm just here to tell you the flavor of ice cream this is. And we're going to talk more about ice cream flavors in a future video. I may have to do a collab with some people to talk about ice cream. Um, th th we'll get to it. We'll get to it. So thank you to AstroTech. Uh, I'm sorry for your name because it's just Astroglide is all that comes to mind. Why have I held this box out? Like, here's this box. What is this? And you're like, Glide? Is it Astro Glide? No, it's Astro Tech. Ha ha! Um, thank you for sending this. I will link to these on Amazon and Hi-Fi Go. That wallpaper available in the description. A little bit sharp. Like, it's like, oh, these are really nice horns. Horns. It's a little, a little horny. These are a little bit horny on the top. So just, just know that. Download that. Patreon and Subscribestar supports this channel. And uh, if you want to buy this set of Astroglide Volans or Astrotech Volans, I should probably just call them correctly. I'm also very happy, by the way, that they're called the Volans and not the HE4839 SE Volan or just the H34X39, it's good. It's like the Starfields. It's like naming something. It's like, hey, what IMs do you have? I hate the Shore model of naming things. It's just it's bad. Like even Ico with OH10, OH1, then OH10, then OH7 with the price. It's like, this makes no fucking sense. So Volans, I'm, I'm okay with this. They called it that. I will stop making fun of the name. Thank you. Uh, support this channel, like I said, on Patreon or Subscribestar. Five dollars a month gets you to see these reviews early, participate in the yard sales, which these will be in, where I pay for shipping locally, and I want to say half shipping international, but shit's fucked with COVID, so I may have to I may have to absorb more of the cost just to keep my international viewers happy. Or uh, ask me any questions you want on platform. I am getting to those. It is a pain in the ass. But uh, if you don't want to wait for me to answer your questions, feel free to bump up to the $10 supporter tier, which gets you into the private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat. And that works for either Patreon or Subscribestar, where you can see everything I unbox early. Like, I take pictures of everything I get. Like, I'm just in an active chat with 300 people. Well, 250 people now. It, it varies up and down every three months. But um, they know what I have. They could ask me any questions they want. I could ask them questions, like if I need to know pad sizes. So it's 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 really the community. The community is in the ten dollar chat. I have a I have a subreddit RZ review RZ reviews. Yes, RZOS has sort of like been abandoned, but I still love that place. But RZ reviews exists. I've got a public Telegram that you know you could possibly go there and ask for advice. Or I've got a Discord which you also could possibly ask for advice. Maybe. But I'm not into Discord. I don't know. It's too many rooms. It's too many rooms. If you're going to talk about your car, you shouldn't have to go to the car chat. Just talk about your car in the general chat. If you just general chat. It would be absolute fucking chaos. But that's what I like. Um, but anyway, yeah. $10 chat gets you into the behind the scenes private Telegram chat. And then there are higher tiers that I was planning on doing stuff with. But now with the cost of shipping and just the world the way it is, no one wants to touch stuff that I've touched much. So we'll leave it at that. And um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. The This is the first of many. The first of many IMs and things I'm going to end up doing either today or in the next week. So stick around. I'll see you tomorrow for another review.